no mistake, we will march until abortion is un. Thinkable. Thousands of abortion rights opponents weathered the snowfall in Washington, D.C. for the annual March for Life. It's not political as much as it is just human. Several GOP lawmakers turned out to rally after passing two bills this week focusing on unwanted pregnancy and pregnancy centers. House Speaker Mike Johnson of Louisiana shared a personal story with the crowd. I am myself a product of an unplanned pregnancy. My parents, who were just teenagers at the time, chose life, and I am very profoundly grateful that they did. Marchers headed past the U.S. Capitol to the Supreme Court, where justices delivered a victory to the movement in 2022, ending federal abortion rights protections enshrined in Roe v. Wade. The issue is now playing out on the state level with mixed results ranging from all out bans in 14 states to losses at the ballot boxes in Ohio, Kansas and Kentucky. In the next year ahead, we'll be in 16 states. We're coming to a state near you folks. Even in the snow and frigid cold, marchers tell us nothing was going to stop them from marching in Washington, D.C. today. I have my foot warmers, my hand warmers. I have four layers on. I think it's very important that the world sees us. Movement organizers also expect the issue to be a rallying cry for Democrats come November. President Biden's reelection campaign has openly stated support for abortion rights. Voting will change a lot of how this plays out um, with years come. You vote on this issue? Absolutely. Vice President Kamala Harris kicks off a Fight for Reproductive Freedoms tour Monday in Wisconsin. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Washington.